Hi guys, well they did it, they've actually released Allies for Age of Sigma, and uh, if you don't know why I'm so happy, you will in just a moment. Hi guys, right, so, um, <laughs> one of a very popular video of mine was where I had a bit of a moan about Age of Sigma skirmish, and the reason for that was that I could only take pestilence in my army in Age of Sigmar if I wanted to use the good old plague monks and sensor bearers as my battle line otherwise I would have to go out and buy a load of the clan rats and I really don't want to run them and they're a bit pants and they don't fit with the theme of my army so I was a little bit annoyed with uh, skirmish because that basically meant that I couldn't use my pestilence because of the the low number of models that they had available to them um, for skirmish, I couldn't use the pestilence as a full warband, um, so I'd have to go and buy some other stuff, um, which I then couldn't use in Age of Sigma. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, I got a lot of support and a lot of grief from people who watched that video, but it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> the uh, General's Handbook, sorry if that deafened you, the General's Handbook 2017 has a new feature, and that is allies. So each, each army is going to have a list of units and um, factions that it can ally with. Um, I'd be very surprised if my Skaven Pestilence can't ally with the rest of the Skaven, to be honest. <laughs> Which is fine by me, even if that's the full list. Just Pestilence can ally with other Skaven. That would be amazing. I really like the idea of um, running Global Deers. The reason I said that weird is because of, uh, well, if you've played um, Vermintide, then you'll understand that. Because Global Deers fit perfectly with the, uh, the Pestilence because basically they're throwing globes of like disease and and chemicals and whatnot which is perfect i can paint them up just the same as my uh, pestilence right um so yeah it's amazing so i'm gonna give you a little bit more detail right uh when you can take a thousand point army you can take 200 points of allies in that when you take a battle host which is 2000 you can take 400 points of allies and finally if you take a war host, which is 2,500 points, you can take 500 points of allies. So, if I'm taking a 2,000 point list, I can take 400 points of other stuff. 400 points of Globadiers, 400 points of Ratogas, whatever I feel like. It's a good day. It's a very good day. Anyway, I wanted to keep this nice and short. I was super happy that this was something they'd done. Um, I just wanted to rejoice and share, as it were. Right, uh, thank you very much for watching. You can keep up with me in between videos over here. One thing I haven't added is that I've now got an Instagram. I'll put a link down in the description to the Instagram account. And yeah, let me know uh, if you're as excited about allies as I am because of the whole needing to take certain factions to have uh, battle line troops. I think it's a fantastic move. It opens a lot of doors and um, it's brilliant. I just love it. Right then, just hopefully they don't go too far with the allies, like allying chaos with order. That would be a bit strange. But we'll see. We haven't seen that details yet. Right. Thank you very much for watching, as I said. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Stay well.